Howdy guys, lovely to see you all again. I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get around to this uh, six years, if you will. I really should have done this solo a bajillion years ago. Today we're gonna be looking at the solo from Battery by Metallica. Let's take a look. All right, guys, let's have a look at the first section. I'm gonna start off with this double stop bend idea from 14 of the second and the third string. I'm gonna do five in a row. One, two, three, four, five, then work into this phrase. I'm gonna play 14 twice on the third string and then do a hammer on pull off going 12, 14, 12. Okay, from the start now. Okay, then I work into this phrase. All right, let's slow that down. I'm starting from 14 of the third string and then doing a hammer on pull off idea on the second string. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing a hammer on pull off, hammer on pull off. There should be five notes all together. One, two, three, four, five. So if I add the 14 in front of that, at the end of that, I've got exactly the same phrase three times and it's kind of working in a circle if that makes sense. And if I didn't mention it earlier, we are in the E minor pentatonic. So I'm gonna be playing 14 of the third string and pulling off 15, 12 on the second string. And that's gonna work in that little circle idea three times. At the end of that, big sexy bend from 15 of the second string. And that's the first half of this section. So let's put together what we've got thus far. Hopefully that's making sense. Then I work into this next section. I've got a big bend from 15 of the first string and then I bend the fifth, uh, 15 of the second and the first together. It's gonna get kind of gross. So we're gonna go. And then I finish that on 12 of the first. A bit of grossness is welcome here. And then I work into this. What I'm doing here is a hammer on pull off going 12, 15, 12 of the first string, jumping to 15 of the second. And then I wanna play 12 of the first string and back to 15 of the second. All together. Hopefully that's making sense. Then I work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm playing 12 of the first string, pulling off 15, 12 on the second and jumping to 14 of the third. And I do the next phrase exactly the same four times in a row. So relatively fast, but a relatively simple idea at the same time as well. I'm hammering 12, 15, 12 on the second string and jumping to 14 of the third. So if we put the other phrase in front of that, we're gonna have that and then four of exactly the same thing. Hopefully that's making sense. One, two, three, four. And then we've got, at the end of that, I played 15 of the second string twice and then just added a bend. And that's pretty much the whole section. So what I wanna do is go right back to the start, play it again at a gentleman's pace, and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. Okay, so the second section starts off rather psychotically. I apologize in advance. I'm gonna be doing 16 angry triplets in a row. I'm pulling off four to open on the third string. Two groups of eight there. So 16 all together over two bars and then it works into this phrase. 
it's a bit nonsensey, but there's quite a cool pattern to it. Uh, I dig it, and um, I've got a soft spot for Kirk's hilarity. So here we go. I'm going to just be pulling off in sixteenths or semi quavers, four to open on the third string, and then I'm going to go six, seven, eight. So we're going to have sort of four notes with pull offs. You probably get by with doing it all in one pick as well. If you've got enough uh, gain on there and you're also cranking the wire, it should be pretty delicious. So I was playing four, six, seven, eight. And then the next group that I did is the same shape, but I'm starting from six. So it's going six, eight, nine, ten. So back to back. The next group I do, I'm going to play ten again. I'm going to go ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. So we've got sort of three groups of four now. At the end of that, I'm going to slide away from 14 and then use a leading note from 12 of the first string to get us into the next chunk. So all together we should have this thus far. Pretty weird, I know. Then I work into this phrase. So let's slow that down. I'm gonna be playing 15, 14 on the first string, and then hammering on into a pull off 12, 14, 12 on the first, jumping to 15 at the second. At the end of that, I'm gonna play 12 of the first string again, pulling off 15, 12 on the second, resolving to 14 of the second string. At the end of that, I'm going to do a hammer-on into a pull-off, but the 12 that I've got there, so it's going 12, 14, 12, is the beginning of the next measure. So I got... As soon as I get to that next bar, I'm working through eights or quavers, depending on uh, which side of the earth you're on. So I've got the hammer-on into a pull-off going 12, 14, 12. And as soon as I get to that 12, I'm working down the E minor pentatonic, I've just got uh, the cheeky flat five on the fifth string, so it's gonna go. So got the pull off to that 12, then I'm playing 14, 12 on the third, 14, 12 on the fourth, 14, 13, 12 on the fifth. Straight uh, quavers as you were. So let's go from the start of that chunk from the 15, 14. Then I work into this phrase. All pretty sort of straight on that. So I'm going from 15 of the sixth string. Once again, we're still around that E minor pentatonic. But when I make my way up the scale again, there's no flat five. There's only two notes on that string. So the amount of times I've practiced this and reversed it the way that I descended made me very, very sad. So I'm playing 15 of the sixth string and 12, 14 on the fifth, and 12, 14 on the fourth. We need three notes to finish off that measure. I'm going to play 12 of the third and the fourth string rolling there and then ending that on 14 of the fifth. Thus far, at the end of that, I'm playing 12, 14 twice on the fourth string and then sliding off into oblivion. A little bit of cheeky vibrato didn't hurt either. So let's go from that 15th fret into that big run into the E minor pentatonic and then we'll put all the silly legato in front of it and do it again even slower with some tabs. All right, right from the start now. Time with some tabs. All right, guys, third and final section. I'm working into these uh, delicious melodic phrases. We're going to start off with this. Let's slow that down. I'm starting off with somewhat of a B minor arpeggio here. I'm sliding into nine of the fourth string. And I was rolling my pointer flat across 
seven of the third and seven of the second. At the end of that, I'm doing a bend from 10 of the second string and then I'm gonna play 10, eight, seven after I bring it down. At the end of that, I'm jumping to nine of the third string and then I go like this. So I'm gonna play seven, eight as single notes on the second string and then do a hammer on pull off seven, eight, seven. At the end of that, I'm gonna go nine, seven, six. So all together. At the end of that, I'm gonna play seven twice on the third string but slide it to nine on the second. Second pick rather, not the second string. At the end of that, I'm gonna play from seven to six on the third string and then jump to nine of the fourth. At the end of that, to finish that off, I'm gonna play seven, six on the third and fourth string. At the end of that, sliding from seven to nine in a gracie manner. So all together. Hopefully that's all making sense. I start the next chunk with an E minor arpeggio that's quite similar to what we had over here on nine and the B minor. So I'm sliding into 14 of the fourth string and then I'm playing 12 on the second and third string, the third then the second. Doing a big bend from 15 of the second string. And we've got, so we've got at the end of that, I've got to pull off from 15 to 12 on the second string, jumping to 14 of the third, back to 15 of the second. At the end of that, I've got to bend into a pull off going 15, 12 on the first string. And then I just want to hit 15, 12 again as a pull off. All together. Hopefully that's all making sense. Then I work into this phrase. Okay, this last bit's probably my favorite bit of the solo and it's only like two seconds long, but it is just really, really cool. It's got a bit of a um, Sales of Sharon vibe, if you know that song. I'm hammering from 12 to 13 on the second string and hitting 15 of the first. And then I wanna pull off 13, 12 on the second, jumping to 14 of the third. There's a quick shout out there to anyone in Melbourne uh, in December of 2018. It is freaking hot, isn't it? Isn't it freaking hot? So we're going like this. And the next one, I'm hammering uh, 10 to 14 on, sorry, 10 to 12 on the second string and jumping to 14 of the first. Then I wanna pull off 12 to 10 on the second string and jumping to 12 of the third. All together. At the end of it, at the end of that phrase, losing my tongue here. So I'm sliding backwards from 10 to eight and then hammering 10 uh, pulling off back to eight on the second string. At the end of that, I'm pulling off. So I'm doing the slide into the hammer pull off, jumping to 11 of the third string, then playing eight of the second. At the end of that, open G on the third string, slide off into oblivion. So let's try that final Sharani run, and then we'll put it all together from the start. All right, let's go right back to the start of the section and do it at a gentleman's pace, and then again, even slower some tabs. One more time with some tabs. And that was my tutorial on the solo to Battery by Metallica. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you want tabs in this lesson and anything else that I've done, please join up with my Patreon with all the cool kids. You get tabs, extra content. There will be giveaways next year uh, when I get a little bit more backing from my sponsors and supporters and a few other things as well. Uh, if you guys aren't presently aware, I do have two books out. The first one, Ultimate Shred Machine, Upping Your Chops in Shredding, Sweeping, Legato and Tapping. And the second one, Fade Away, new book, 
uh, is Rock Mode Guitar Mastery. Uh, it is really, really cool talking about modes, we're talking about how to use them, to improvise with them, to compose with them, all of that cool stuff. I'm very, very proud of both of these books. And if you are not much of a reader, you can also find uh, them in video form on Udemy as well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I'll catch you all very soon.